I recall an interview with a retarded reporter. Uh, Mr. Burroughs, is there anything in your life you regret? Anything you would do differently if you had it to do over? Well, I'm lucky if I get through a day without something I did wrong, something I regret, and you are talking about a lifetime. <laughs> he was more brilliant when he talked to you than he was in his work. I mean, because it was a spontaneity and a, and a wisdom that arose every second. I don't think he really played up to the grandpa from hell persona, uh, you know, that it, it came natural to him. Thou shalt not blow pot smoke into the face of thy pet. I think Burroughs was a sort of a W.C. Fields of our time, wouldn't you think? He's been important as an experimentalist who really goes beyond just being a novelist and just being a literary figure. Is there anyone in this room who has never said to himself, I acted like an absolute shit? If so, let him stand forth so that we may acclaim a Latter-day Saint. Don't anyone look at me. One of my favorite aspects of Burroughs is that he encourages your own mind travel as well. You have to become a traveler with him, otherwise you will reject him. I can see all manner of spacecraft, some of them obviously lethal, preparing to take off. Only those who are willing to leave everything they have ever known in time need apply. It is necessary to travel, it is not necessary and becoming increasingly difficult to live. He traveled outside the human condition imaginatively, or as far outside it as, of course, a very human person could go, and reported back to us.